Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we are doing some more nails. Um, I am doing a custom set uh, for a lady. Um, she would like Charlie Brown. So this is what I've got going on so far. The blue is Starlight Radiance. And this is from Beatles. Um, so that's two coats. And then the white is just models one white, which I have to buy more because I'm going to wait now. White and black, I go through like crazy. Okay, so we are doing, she requested Charlie Brown. So we're going to do um, some Charlie Brown nails. But first off, I want to um, put some little flakies in. So I think I'm going to pick these guys. Just to kind of give the background a little pizzazz. So, carefully kind of open this. Don't breathe. And always put a paper towel down. Just telling you now. Because it's messy. So... Just, um, I'm just going to double check and make sure this brush is clean. I got this little brush cleaner from Timu, I think. I got to clean it out. Do, do, do. So I have a sticky layer on here. So I'm just... I'm going to put, and then I'm going to kind of burnish it in a little bit. We're going to stamp and stuff over top, so I just, I don't know. I'm going, I'm probably going a little extra on these nails, but they're fun. So we're going to do um, some watercolors and stamping, so stamping and then watercolors. So this will get kind of hidden a bit, but look at this, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? And the blue nails will just be staying the same. We're not doing anything to those. And the reason I kind of burnish it in is so it'll go flat. Because um, I don't want anything sticking up. And you can put as much of this as you want on. You don't have to do this even. I'm just... I just wanted to do something a little different. And I'm just taking it out of the lid. So um, these flakies I actually received um, as a giveaway gift from um, Stick It Stilettos. I've had them for years. So, okay, so there's those. So hang on one second. I'm just going to clean all this up. Okay, so next step I'm going to do is I am going to top coat um, in matte because I'm going to be stamping and I want to do watercolors. So I want to do it all in matte because it picks up better and because I might have lay loose flakies on here um, I make sure that before I put the brush back into the bottle I um, wipe it off so I'm gonna pop those into the lamp I'm gonna oh I have enough on the brush hang on 
I don't want it dripping everywhere. This bottle is really full, so the brush has a lot of product on it. So I could probably get all, get all of these done. Okay. There we go. Okay, so then wipe the brush. Make sure you don't have any product on it. And then I throw that away. Okay, so I'm going to pop these into the lamp for 60 seconds. One moment. Okay, so look at that. That is them when they've been matted out. So it looks kind of cool like that. But once we, we put the design and everything over it, um, it'll look cool. So I'm just moving that out of the way for the moment. So the stamping plate we're going to use is from Pretty Fingers by Robin. And come on, focus. So it is this Charlie Brown plate. So let's take the film out. Oh, all the fun. So there's a bunch of different images. So she tries to do small and big, um, small and big, um, small and big, small and big, small and big, small and big, which is awesome. And then, um, so if I have to shrink any, that one's small and big, same. So. They're cute. They're cute images. I'm like super excited to try them. So I wanted to do as many images on these nails. So to give her lots of options and then add some glitter in there. So now we're using the sticky black stamping polish. So now I got to figure out where I want what images. <laughs> okay. Hang on one sec. Okay. So I figured out a couple of them so I'm going to I'm gonna do Snoopy snowman to start out with and then I'm just gonna take off what I don't want I got a little little tiny bump there I'm just trying to get it off without damaging the rest of it. So now I'm going to center. And that's cute. Okay, so that's one. Now we gotta do Snoopy on his, I guess I didn't have to turn it his um is that upside down hang on I just wanted to no it's his dog house you gotta have that so Reading his doghouse. We definitely need that one. So she wants two sets of Charlie Brown nails. So I'll probably end up duplicating some of these images. Oh, 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 I almost put them upside down. So. There we go. Um, because she wanted two, two gnome and two um, Charlie Brown. Oh, I didn't do a video for the second um, gnome ones, but I'll show you which ones I did. So I did these. I'll put a picture of them on my Instagram as well. 
so she has these ones and you'll see the video if you haven't already for these guys so I'm trying to do a variety and she likes glitter and she likes blues and aquas and and stuff so okay now um I'm gonna do the Charlie Brown and Snoopy I don't know if I scraped too much or not enough. Okay. So now I'm going to go in. Now, if you are not comfortable doing it that way, then totally go in with a piece of tape, especially when you're getting close to images. Um that you don't want to pull up um, your okay so that's not too bad so we're going to try and put him on this bigger nail there so I'm trying to fit in the images in the, the ones that I have. Okay. So I kind of want to do Linus playing the piano. I'm going to try to figure out what that one is. Oh, that's him pushing the snowball. Okay. But this Linus, I think that's the only Linus one. And it's kind of big so let's try and see if I can shrink it I got one of these shrinking stampers from Aliexpress so just trying to okay that one's a tight one let's just I have a couple that are loose and some that are tight so basically you turn it up to shrink see and then see how it domes that's what you want it to do so now I'm gonna just cover him hold the plate down scrape and then roll up and now you undo it and then carefully pop it off so now let's move this out of the way so I want to see and I'm working with sticky stamping polish from she modern um, the reason I like this one is because I can take my time and it will stay sticky and it will um, go on the stamp so I can go slow and it'll still work for me. So let me just turn the tape around. So hopefully, so then I just unstick myself. So hopefully, minus will fit. Okay, that worked. So now I have three. So I need two more images. So I want to do Snoopy and the Little Christmas Tree. And then I think I'll do Charlie Brown and Lion or Snoopy Walking. So let's get that and then get rid of that big blob. And I have a little tiny image right here that 
I don't want, but I, I'm being careful. So that'll work. So I'm going to put him here. Okay. And then now, so we're going to do, I'll get the clouds in there. And there we go. Okay. So I'll get rid of that. And I can go in with my piece of tape. I just stuck it to my desk. So I could grab it. And there. Okay. And hopefully it'll fit on this. Yeah. there okay so there are the images that I've got okay for the second hand I decided to uh, make them all different and, okay I'll get that out of the way so um, and I didn't shrink any of these images like this one I used the full I mean, I didn't get all of the snowball on there, but, you know, honestly, I don't need all the snowball. I just wanted Charlie Brown um, and Lucy Fit, and there's him there. And then I kind of did a couple of Snoopies and the sister. Um, and then for Linus, I added some music notes. Um, I saw my friend Lacey. <laughs> She's a wonderful artist. Um, she had added different ones, um, but I thought, oh, that's a cute idea. I should have moved him down farther so he wasn't centered. I should have made him off-centered, and then I could have put a few more. But, um, yeah, so that's what I've done. Okay, so I'm just going to put the stamping plate. And I the, the music notes was off of BP-L059. This is an old Born Pretty plate that's all music notes i got this from a d stash so okay so hang on and we will do some painting okay so i am going to use my watercolors i've shown you guys these before um i just got them at michael's they're just um i think i paid um like eight bucks for them but when at michael's um at least in canada you can get coupons so I think right now they got a Black Friday special. So um, I saw the coupon this morning. It was like 40% off of one item. Um, regular priced item. Um, this brush is my brush. Um, it didn't come with one. I just put it in there and then I leave it. So I'm going to use this brush, which is a little bit thicker. And then also for the finer details, I'm going to use this smaller brush. This one is from Yasterd. Um, I'll have a link down below for this. I'll try and find a link for this. I'll have links. All the links will be down below. I always try and do that. Especially if I want to go back and figure out what I made on a set. I'm like, Ugh. okay, uh, one sec. Okay, so I just have like a little dampen dish and then I just put water into it. Um... This is like a She Modern <laughs> bottle. This thing is so old. I've had this probably <laughs> since uh, like 2016 when she used to do water decals. Um, okay, so let's get started. So I will do this first one. So I just get my brush wet a little bit. So now I'm not going to show you how I do all of them because honestly that will take forever. Um, um, yeah, because see if I want, I can go and do, usually do like one color and then one color. 
kind of idea. So you can do it whatever way you want. I might do a lighter color for his hat. I'm just going to show you like two or whatever with, and then we'll go to the next step kind of idea. So, so we're not too, too bored. Okay. So I want a blue coat, I think. Can't remember offhand what color his coats are. And the more water you put on, the less um, concentrated um, the image will be, or like the opaqueness. So you can go back in and um, do like, you can do a second coat if you want, but let's do red mittens. And then light, light brown for his face. So once it dries, you can go back over it and then add more color. Which I think I'm just going to add red to his hat. So bring ties in the mitten a little bit. And I just kind of tap it in. And then I do have a piece of paper towel so I can um, rub off whatever color. So now I'm just going to go in and I am going to paint the snowball a little bit. Just so it has a, like a little, see it's a little bit different white because there's actually some gray or whatever on on there. So so there. So when I can even, you know, paint the snow a little bit so it's a little different. And then I can go in and mix some blue. So when I can add some more water and then kind of fade it out a little bit. And then if I add more water, then I can wet it once it's dry and then I can move it around a bit more. And then if I want, and then I can go in with a little darker blue. I actually put water on it. <laughs> and just kind of do some dimension there. There. There's the first one. Doesn't that look cute? Okay. Oh, let's do Lucy. So we'll do, let's do her purple for her coat and her hat. So, And maybe I'll do pink just to kind of balance it out a little bit. So there. So 
And then when I'm rinsing it out, like I rinse out the brush and then I kind of um, do this and then I kind of rotate it around and then it keeps my point pointy. Because sometimes it gets a little non-pointy. So we're going to do red on this ribbon. I guess it's... And then maybe um, let's do this turquoise color just to kind of for the little desk. Or maybe I should have made it brown. Okay, so we're going to add some white for the snow. Probably don't need to do this, but... And then I'm going to add some blue for the sky. And then I go and put some more water in there just to kind of spread it out. I think this is the last one I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to do the rest and then we'll come back because this video is really long already. <laughs> and at least it gives you an idea of what I'm doing. Oops, I added too much water, so I drop dry off the brush, and then I'm just going to tap in. Oops, and then I took it all out. And I just kind of tap in a little bit of the color. So she's got some flesh tone there. There! That's kind of cute. Liking it. Hopefully she likes it too. I kind of I thought this would be fun to do. I'm going to do these. Um, I'm just going to let these fully dry and then we'll come back because then we'll, we'll top coat them. But I'm going to do the rest of them and then I will show you when I'm done. Okay, so I'm back and this is what I've done so far. So there's that. And then... My camera not focusing. And then I called him Linus. That's not Linus. That is Schroeder. I'm like, I don't know why. <laughs> and then, okay, so then I did Sally. And then these are the other ones. And then there. So I've painted everything. So now um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add some snowflakes to the blue nails. Um, I'm going to wait for these, um, the watercolors to dry a little bit longer before I top coat, just, just to be on the safe side. I think they're pretty dry now. I think um, I finished all the other ones except for these three. I went and had lunch, <laughs> and then I came back and I finished these three. So I want to wait for these guys to dry. But I was thinking... This is another Pretty Fingers by Robin's Plate. And I've got some snowflakes there, I'm thinking. I can't decide if I want to do full-on snowflakes or individual snowflakes. So I'm thinking I might do all snowflakes. I'll do one nail. If I don't like it, I'll rub it off. So... Let's go this way. Oh. That's not too bad. I kind of like that. Okay, we're going with the snowflakes. 
forgot about <laughs> Okay, so once this is dry, um, then I will, I'm going to base coat and then top coat um, and then that way, well, especially for the glitter nails because I want to kind of encapsulate the glitter. So there. I think that uh, I think that's pretty okay so we will be back shortly hang on okay so here is my final look of my Snoopy so this is my blue version and I think it's super cute and then I finished the other set I figured I might as well show you I didn't show you how to do do it because it's pretty much the same technique um, I did add red and then this time I added uh, snowflake stickers and I added a little bit more of the flakies and I kind of concentrated it around um, the outside for these and these images here were actually off of Robin's um, I didn't get this till after Halloween, so it was off of the um, Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. So I used, because those didn't have any Halloween stuff, so it worked out perfect. I was able to make uh, this set slightly different than the other one. But I love them. Um, so hopefully she likes some. If she doesn't, I'll just take them to my show. <laughs> but I think she will like them. I, I, at least I hope so. She gave me full reign because I kind of asked for questions. and But um, yeah, anyway. Um, so those, stay tuned. I'll have, um, I'll have swatch photos. And then, of course, I will have Daisy and Pippa. So thanks for hanging out with me while I do th these nails. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and you are staying safe. Okay, love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Bye. Is this your I want a treat dance? Is it? You're telling me you want a treat? Have you been a good girl today? Have you? She's like, yes, mommy, I've been a good girl. Have you been a good girl to you, Pippa? Okay, mommy can't. Mommy's got to learn how to open a container one handed. Dropped it.